Welcome to another month of tips, tricks, and techniques with the Maki's Applications team. I'm Hugh Gonzalez. This month, we have a bit of a fun project. We've partnered up with Beaver Papers Beaver Boards to create custom printed puzzles. I'll be printing these on the UJF series, and then I'll be cutting them on the Protex Speedy 360 laser. Let's check it out. The first thing I want to do for this is create the puzzle pattern. For this, I created a line about an inch wide with a nodule. I joined copies end to end in a string of five. And then I used them to create a five by five grid. I then modified each segment or node by selecting some of the anchor points, flipping them, stretching them, or even shifting them away from the center to create unique shapes. Once the pattern is created, I'm gonna select a few images that are about the same proportions as the pattern. Here are a few images that I've put together and I've overlaid a copy of the puzzle grid over each of them. I'm giving each puzzle a fair amount of bleed because I'll be cutting these in reverse from the back. I'm also going to print a wood pattern on the back side to give the puzzle a more finished look, as opposed to leaving it just white. Since I'll be cutting from this side, I will also place the registration marks on this print. I'm going to export these as TIFF files. I'd normally work with EPS or PDFs, but these are going to be considerably larger because each puzzle has many components. Flattening them into a pixel image for printing will be more efficient. Now that they've been exported, they're ready to print. The first thing I'm going to do is make the image centered on the table, so when I print on the back it'll be easy alignment, since the beaver board is already cut to the same size as the print area. Next, I'll choose the appropriate profile. We do have one for cardboard, which works great for most any paper-faced media. I'll be printing at the higher production resolution of 600 by 900. And that's it for this one. I'll go ahead and rip and print. I'll be printing with the same settings for the image on the back. The UJF 7151 Plus is the newest in the UJF family. It has rigid and flexible ink options. It has white, clear, and the jetted primer for an exceptionally large printable media gamut. For more information, please visit our website at www.memakiusa.com. Once it's printed, I'll bring it over to the Trotec laser. To send the cut data to the Trotec Speedy 360, I've removed the image layers and I've saved the copy for easier processing. Please visit the Trotec website for the latest advancements in their software and laser technology. First, I'll cut the inside of the puzzle and then I'll cut the frame separately. Before starting, I'll align the first registration point and the laser head. Then 
and then I'll send it by selecting the play button. After the puzzles are cut inside, I'll mask the puzzles, making sure to leave the registration marks exposed. I am masking primarily to keep the puzzle pieces together. Once I've masked it, I'll send the framed cut layers. With that, the puzzles are ready for packaging. To finish the puzzle presentation, I've designed and printed eFlu pre-cut cardboard packaging. For this part of the application, I recommend our flexible inks because the surface sheet of the cardboard is thin paper and it will be creased. Now all there is left to do is to fold together the boxes and place the puzzle pieces. Thanks again for watching, and a special thank you to our media and equipment partners. The puzzles were printed on 3mm beaver paper display board, and they were cut on the Trotex Speedy 360. Please visit their respective websites for more information. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to contact us at applications at with the subject line, TTT Comments and Suggestions.